In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to combine the 7x5 and the 5x7 multi-frame dies in the John Next Door collection to make a beautiful card using both of them together. So your first one is JND455, and this is the 5x7 multi-frame. It's actually called 5x7 Frame It, as the rectangular dies are called Frame It, as opposed to being called Frame Makers, which is what we've reserved for the squares and the circles. It's just so that you know exactly which one is being used at any one particular time. Now, inside the first one, which is the 455, frame it you're going to get three frame it dies you're going to get a five by seven one that's just smaller the sort of six it's kind of five by three and then that's one sort of one by three again slightly smaller with inserts for all of those panels the second die we're going to use in this set is the jnd 475 which is the matching frame maker five by seven by five and this is just called the JND 475 Holly Frame It. So nice and simple. And this in here, you will get baubles as well as the beautiful frame. Obviously, we've made sure we used the inside. And this time, this will give you a half inch frame. So we'll use these together and it'll show you how they combine together. So I'm going to start by using the 475, the Holly Frame. So I've got a piece of white card here. And this is just our Craft Artist Essential card in coconut white. So you want to pop down your frame first, just like that. And then you want to take your inserts and add each insert to a panel. So start on one side, get it nice and even and take that down. You then want to take the bottom or the top and again, pop that into the frame and tape it down. So don't take the frame maker die on itself, frame it sort of cut it, tape it down when you're taping each panel in. And don't cut these separately. You can cut them into separate pieces separately, but I wouldn't cut the frame first and then try and add the panels as that actually just, they never line up properly. They're never neat. So we would take that and we simply run that through our die cutting machine and cut that. And it will give us this beautiful frame here with the holly showing all the way around. So what I want to do next is to use the frame maker die on its own. So we will take out the panels. So I'm just taking out the panels from mine. And we simply want to cut that on its own into a piece of contrasting card. This time I'm using the beautiful black and silver um, waterfall glitter card. I think this is just beautiful card. So we'll run that through. Sorry, I'm not actually, I got that wrong. I'm using the silver. So I'm gonna cut that into a silver piece. That's for the next layer. And there we get that beautiful silver frame just like that. What we do is simply glue that using spray glue or a strong adhesive onto the top of there, which gives us the beautiful holly frame just like that. So we get that beautiful twinkling holly frame and you could use it like that. This is where we can actually introduce now our next layer. So we actually can bring in the sort of multi-frame version. And all I'm going to use for this is this larger frame here onto the black card. We'll pop that down and we cut that and we run that and cut that through. And that will give us this beautiful frame here, which is a perfect five by seven. But of course, if we mount that on top, we get a beautiful mat for it. And you could take these panels and cut them into there to give you a double layer of the holly. You will see that in one of the samples that we've made for the show. So click onto the group and you'll notice that. So I'm taking the tape off the wrong piece. So I'm just gonna put that back on. Because I want to take it off this piece here. So I want to adhere those two together because I'm going to use more of the multi-frame for the centre panel on this one. So we're just going to take those off and we simply mount that checking one corner, the next corner, nice and even, just like that. So we get that beautiful double frame. If I actually bring in a card blank I've got done, matted and laid, we get a beautiful frame and that is exactly the right size for your standard four by six photos. So again, you could actually frame a Christmas photo in there of your family. It would be a beautiful way to make a really nice lasting Christmas card memory. We want to put another insert into it. 
So what I've done here is I've taken a piece again of the coconut white card and this I've cut to four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. So it's slightly smaller than our frame. So it will fit right. And we're going to use the insert dies from the smaller panel. And what I'm going to do is just take these four insert dies out as you want to try and arrange those first. So rather than trying to arrange them on the card, I tend to do this on my mat. So I place my die down on my mat. I place the next one next to it, just like that, using one of the lines. And I take a little bit of our low tack tape to tape them together. I'll then take the next die and put it up to that corner. And I'll tape that corner. I'll then take the final piece and I will bring these together to match until I'm happy that it's matching perfectly on both corners. I will then tape those two corners down, giving me a beautiful frame that's completely straight that will only cut into my card. I can then arrange that onto the centre of my card, making sure I'm happy. And I run that through and cut that. And all that that will do is to cut in this beautiful pattern. So you see, you've almost got, it's like an embroidered frame. So what we will do is use a piece of silver behind that. So I'm going to use a little bit of spray glue for speed, but again, just use a decent adhesive or power tape is perfect. And again, this has been cut to four and a half by six and a half, so I don't get any overhang. And there I get that beautiful panel in the middle. I can then take my frame, and I'm just going to take the tape off the back of here. Now you may find that this piece doesn't fit exactly, because you may not have got that exactly in the middle. I very, very rarely manage that, but we can always trim it down. So go from the center, frame it nicely, and that way you can check any areas that are overhanging and just use your scissors and undercut it. And there's a little bit there. So undercutting, I just tip my scissors at an angle so I'm not cutting the main frame at the front. So there I have my beautiful left and right sort of portrait or landscape card. And this is going to go onto my card blank. So just like that. I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue to glue this on, as I think it's the best way to make sure you get it in the right place as it's maneuverable and using the Craft Artist Super Tacky Glue, which is just amazing. You notice here, I've actually offset. I've not got the frame in exactly the right place. So I'm just going to use some scissors to trim that down shows you you should take a little bit more care than I do when I'm doing the videos when you're making these at home so we're just going to pop that into place just there so there we've got again our landscape or our portrait card and we can pop our sentiment in the center or we could use the other frame it die to put a little frame in the middle but all I want to do with this is just to decorate this at this precise moment so I'm going for a portrait card and I'm going to use some of the sweeping bows and I'm just going to match exactly what I've done. So with these, I glue just along the middle, coming from the centre. And I'm going to try and mirror what I'm doing top and bottom. And as the sweeping bows have a left and a right, then I can add a little bit more glue there match them almost exactly. So again, a little bit of glue right through that one. And I'm just going to match those top and bottom. Nice and simple. And I'm not using the, all of them. I'm just going to use three through like that. And these, again, these make a beautiful sort of, um, these would make absolutely beautiful foliage for Art Deco cards as well. 
So here I've got some of the frost flowers that I've made up just single layer. And I've made these up using, again, in the white card and added a little Aurora Borealis gem in the centre. So we're keeping that colour mix going. And that's a large one. I don't want a large one. I want a medium. And another small. So I won't use, I only use six of the nine flowers I kept from this die. There we go. Placed in the centre. And it shows you how we can use these five by seven, seven by five multi frames to make an absolutely beautiful card, which could be for Christmas or realistically could be for any occasion. For more ideas, hints, tips and inspiration, why not visit the Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 group on Facebook. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.